Okay, this is, I figured it would be easiest to explain it, uh, just trying to do a video. Um, at least it's always easier for me to learn stuff by seeing stuff versus reading it or whatever. So, <clears throat> you mentioned you were having problems getting this knockout. Let me change this to normal, just so it'll zoom in and out a little bigger. Um, you mentioned you're trying to get this knockout to happen you want to put this image on a black shirt right um, and you're trying to every time you try to like simplify or knock the black dots out of the red and the white it would crash Corel draw well that is because you have 12,000 objects in these little black um, this little black distressed effect you have that is why it's crashing you. At least that's why it crashed me. That's that's a lot of stuff for Corel Draw to process. I mean, they, people may have computers that can do it, but mine definitely will not. So um, the easiest way to do this is to turn all of these objects into one single curve right um, and I'll show you the easiest way I know how to do that basically it all de depends on your computer power also on how fast this will go but it's definitely doable okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to everything right now is in a power clip this is how you had it right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're going to right click and extract the contents because we need to get those out of there so we can change them into one single curve. Okay, and we need to do it for both of them because you have um, both of these objects power clipped into the red and the white. So now we're going to make we're going to make one single object out of all of these 12,720. 12 objects okay um, if you need to keep this for some reason then it might be easier to save this save this file as a different file so you have the original um, but at the end of this process we're only going to have we're going to have this same exact um, distressed effect but it's going to be one curve instead of 12,000 curves okay um, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one because we, we don't need to deal with, with both of those. Okay, and then we're going to, for, for now, we're going to hide these three bottom objects. So I click here, I just hold down shift and click there and that selects them all. Now in uh, Curl Draw X7, you can just go down and hide object and that will hide those from view. If you don't have that option, simply just um, come down here and click and make a new layer and put those three objects on that layer and then you can just simply click the this little this little eye and that will hide them for you okay um, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna ungroup ungroup all and that is going to take this entire thing and ungroup it into each individual curve and you can see how, how many curves you have it's 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 crazy a lot 12,000 of them so now what we're gonna do and this is where it depends on how powerful your computer processing is um, I tried selecting like half of it and it just froze my computer up and I ended up just restarting Corel so at least for me, my computer's not that great. I have to take little tiny slivers like this, right? And then come up here and hit weld. And that will, and you can see it, it even takes, it even takes it a second to think about that. Um, but that'll weld it together. And you see how, now we have all these selected, but we only have one curve. And then what I like to do is just change it to like a red. So then I know that that, that section's done, right? And then come through here and grab another selection and again this will completely depend on um, 
your computer's power and, and everything like that. And I just go through and I just keep doing this until <clears throat> I've gone all the way down the entire the entire length of the graphic. Okay, and I'm not gonna do the whole entire thing. I have I've already done it and I have it in a in a different file we're gonna go to in a second, but um, you basically just want to go through this whole entire thing and make these different these different selections based on what your computer will handle basically. Okay, and then once you've gone all the way to the bottom and you, you have the different sections, now you're gonna click this and click shift and weld those together. Okay. And then once that's done, then you can hold shift and click the next one and weld those together and, and on down until you get all the way down to the bottom and then you'll only have one single curve and that will that will help Corel be able to do these like simplify and cut out options and stuff a lot easier because even though it still has all the all the little holes and everything like like that never changed we'll, we'll turn this black that never it didn't change the look of it, but it's just changing the way Corel sees it. And it only sees one curve, even though it still has all the detail, versus 12,000 curves. Okay. So to speed, so to speed things up, um, I've already done it. We're gonna we're gonna switch over to this this other um, file here. Okay. So so now you can see that I still have my three things hidden. Okay. But now I only have one curve. This this entire distressed effect is is one one curve is all. <coughs> okay, so so now what we can do is we can come in here and we can unhide this. Okay, so now we have the the red. Okay, and the other thing I noticed is is for some reason you have like the top the top name is one curve, but then this side one here is three different curves which I'm not sure if that was intentional or or what but for the purposes of this video I'm gonna select all of these and weld them together so it's just one one single curve okay so now all of the red is one thing like if you wanted to keep the head separate and the top separate and the side separate you could probably do that okay but then um, what we want to do is we want to select this black curve, right click, go copy, and then we're going to come up here and select paste, or it's control V or control C and control V. Okay, so now we have now we have two curves that are, that are the same, right? And then we, we're also going to open this one and show this, and this is the white. And we're going to take all three of these and make them, whoops, come up here and hit weld. So now we have just the red, the red, the white, and the two distressed blacks, right? So now we're going to click on this one, and we're going to click on this one. And you can either do simplify which will just knock knock out everywhere the black is covering the red but then you have to come in here and delete the black or you can come up here and go back minus front which takes the 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 red which is the back object and it's minusing all of the black okay so as soon as we click on that it'll think about it for a second cuz my computer sucks <coughs> And once it uh, once it thinks that through, then you notice that it deleted the black, but it's also deleted. Like if we hide this, uh, hide. You'll notice that now all of the where the black was has now been deleted out of the red. Okay. So now we're going to take the red and we're going to hide that. Uh, let's let's turn on the black background so we can see what's going on with with the white. We're going to unhide that. See, in in this file too, um, I don't know if you're aware, but 
this is like shifted over to where this corner isn't touching but I I'm assuming you can adjust that when you do the final thing but um, so what you're gonna same same exact thing you're gonna click on this and then you're gonna hold shift and control and click on the the white curve and the reason you hold oh it didn't it didn't do it I thought it would work that way okay well, well you have all three now and you don't want that so just hold down control and click this this curve that's the red that's hidden and that'll deselect that so now once we have those we're going to come back up here and click back minus front again and that'll process and once that's done it it does the same exact thing it knocks out the it knocks holes in the white where the where the distressed was now we're going to unhide this and there's our image and to show you that it's actually knocked out if we if we click the the black rectangle and say change it to a let's go like a, a lighter gray you can see that all the little holes change also because they're they're just not even in there so that is the easiest way to do it and you were running into your problem because you had like all those little dots were way too much for Corel to to process unless you have a really really high-end computer that can do that sort of thing so that should get you going on how to do that uh, if you have any more questions let me know and I'll see if I can answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks.